This is an introduction to the uh, QuickBooks uh, section of the course. And we're going to look at the various um, resources that you have available to you. And uh, in the interest of not overdoing it, I'm going to turn off the webcam. Uh, I just wanted to have you uh, see my face so you know who it is that's talking to you. But enough's enough. Okay, so these uh, assignment instructions, you go to Canvas and go into the QuickBooks materials and then click on assignment instructions. So I'll go through this. Um, in addition to your text and the disk that comes with it, um, there's some additional resources. And here's the website. You can just click on this. It's the link, and we'll go straight to it. And you click on the student edition. Okay, and it doesn't cost you any money. Uh, you've already paid plenty of money for the book. So click on the student edition. Choose a chapter. And let's just say we're going to look at chapter three. Okay. Um, there's uh, multiple choice quizzes that y for each chapter that you can look at. Uh, use these to study for the, the test that you're going to have. The student data files, you've got these on your disk that came with your text, but you also have it right here. Um, there's also a PowerPoint presentation if you wanted to look at that. And uh, the student checklist, you probably don't need this because it's in your textbook. Uh, but let's just take a look at it. Actually, I got out of that screen because um, I couldn't open it in my browser. But uh, you probably won't need that one anyway. So back to the assignment instructions. Uh, See, we've talked about where you can find your company files. So, all of your um, homework is going to be submitted in Canvas. But before you submit it, you have to export it to um, a Excel spreadsheet. And you will find that Excel spreadsheet at myquickbooks.me. And you want to have the page that says QuickBooks 2013. You don't want the 2012 or the 2011. We're in uh, 2013. So for chapter one, these are the uh, paperless Excel templates. You're not going to be submitting any submitting any paper assignments. And uh, there's two files that you can download: reports and docs. We're only going to be you're only going to be submitting reports. So you will download that. This is for chapter one. And let's take a look at that download. So this is an Excel spreadsheet. And it tells you the instructions. And then this is a list of all what you're going to submit. Uh, now as you go through and do the homework, um, it will have you doing um, uh, reports, printing out reports but it will also have you doing documents. You are only going to be turning in the reports because these can be graded by the computer, but the documents cannot. The documents are things like picture, screenshots of invoices and sales receipts and checks. And the computer uh, doesn't have the capability to grade screenshots, but they can grade reports. So you're to do all of the um, requirements, but you're only going to download the reports to these spreadsheets. And there are instructions which we'll get to about how to download the reports. But basically, uh, like this, the trial balance, there's a tab. Uh, it is blank, but you're going to be downloading the report or exporting the report directly to this. And don't, uh, when you do this, don't put any headers in, don't put your name on it. Just um, directly export it to this spreadsheet. Uh, like exercise 1-1, one, one, task 2, it's a profit and loss statement. You're going to put that one right here. It says exercise 1-1-2, one one profit and loss. So 
this is what you're going to submit for every single chapter. Um, uh, there are also some QuickBooks videos for frequently used tasks that uh, will be helpful to you. And I will um, be also giving you some links to some other videos that uh, will be helpful to you. So back to the instructions. Uh, the end of ch the, the QuickBooks chapter and end of chapter assignments will be graded on completeness. So as you're going through QuickBooks, they're having you do certain assignments, um, and then there's some end of chapter assignments. There's also projects, and, and then there's a case, uh, just one case. Maybe there's two, but uh, the projects and the cases will be cor will be graded for correctness. So just make sure that you hand in all of the required reports. Um, and, and again, all of those reports that are required will be on the checklist for each chapter. Okay, so there's no surprises there. You will submit your homework in Canvas. Um, so you go into Canvas and then uh, once you're in our course 1290, uh, then you'll click on Assignments. And I can't really go there right now because I'm in this particular screen here, but you'll, you'll click on the assignment that you want to submit um, and then make sure that you attach the correct file. And it should match the file name that's indicated on the assignment. And each assignment tells you exactly what file it is that you're submitting. Um, you can also click, uh, when you're in this screen, on Show Assignment Rubric to see the points that are given for each part of the assignment. Only the projects have a rubric uh, with them. And even though there's uh, two chapters due on the same day, uh, make sure that you only submit one file per assignment. So from chapter one, there's a um, uh, the chapter and end of chapter assignment, and then there's the project. Those are two different assignments. They should be submitted two different files. Um, so, so make sure that you, you don't submit more than one file for each assignment. The, um, uh, again, if you have questions about, put this up here, um, Exporting, um, you can go to Appendix D, page D3, Option 1A, Excel Reports. That's what you're going to be exporting, and it will explain how to do that. Um, I've sort of shown you here, but if you want to read something more about it, you can. Now, this is a big thing right here, exporting hint. I will take off points from your homework if when you export your reports, they don't have a proper heading. The, the proper heading basically tells me the name of the company and the name of the report, what it is. Um, so the way to get a heading at the top of your report um, is to follow these directions. You know, click on export at the top of the screen. So you're going to be in QuickBooks. You'll click on export at the top of the screen. You'll select the advanced tab and then select send header to the screen. Um, and that way you'll, and, and once you do that, that'll be the default for all your subsequent reports. So do that from the very beginning. Uh, otherwise, you're going to lose points. Um, there's also some detailed instructions on backing up and restoring your QuickBooks file uh, in Appendix B. And less detailed instructions are found on page 143 through 148. Um, I really recommend that you look at this carefully uh, because there's oftentimes problems with backing up and restoring. So uh, you got to really understand how to do that. And lastly, uh, becoming a QuickBooks certified user. Let's look at that a little more detail. I'm going to go to a different page here where it talks about that. Um, I'm going back into the QuickBooks materials and clicking on becoming a QuickBooks certified user. The um, we've talked about this 
in the residential class, um, but a lot of employers want to know that you know QuickBooks uh, at some certifiable level. I mean, just the fact that you have taken this course and it's listed on your resume, they don't know if that means you got a D or C. They don't really know what your expertise is. But if you can give them a certificate, um, then that immediately puts you a cut above the next person um, that, that either doesn't have QuickBooks or just says that they're familiar with it. Um, there are so many employers that, that now are wanting some sort of credential because they have a lot of people come in and say, yeah, I know Excel, I know QuickBooks, but when it comes right down to it, they don't know that much. So you can take, um, this is an extra thing, this is not a required part of the course, but to become a certified user, you can take an online exam at Salt Lake Community College. We've become a, an authorized testing center for a company called Certiport, and they're the ones that administer this exam. And in order to take this exam, you have to buy a voucher at the bookstore. It's about $135. Um, and the, the whole text is geared to prepare you to take this exam. Um, in fact, if you look at section three of your textbook, um, you'll see that there's a, a quick guide that's basically a review guide for this exam. So um, all the materials, all the work that you're doing, you will have already been exposed to. And then when you go to study for the exam, you can just go through the quick guide and it's um, several pages. Um, I'm looking to see, you know, it's about 45 pages. And then um, what you can do is you can take, uh, with this voucher, you get to take three practice tests and then you, you take the actual test and you can uh, take it twice. You can take it and then retake it. Um, if you can't pass it after that, then you have to pay for it to take it again. But again, this is such a good credential to have. Um, and you, you would probably have to explain on your resume, who's ever reading it, who's ever employing you, what it means. But believe me, it's well worth it. Uh, and I suggest you watch this five-minute video uh, to see, you know, what students at other schools are doing with this exam. And you will want to take this exam right when you get done with the course so that it's all still fresh in your mind. You, you wouldn't want to wait too long. I mean, you could, but, it, it, you know, chances of passing are much faster and quicker if you take it right away. So that's about all I have to say. I just say dive in and get going.